Hello everybody! Noel from Scratch Genius here. Today I'm going to be showing you 8 really useful tips and tricks that you can use for Scratch. I hope you will enjoy this video, and let's get into it! Our first tip is for drawing. So, if you wanted to draw a line, you can hold Shift and click at the same time to snap it at an angle. You can also do this for if you wanted to draw circles to make it a perfect circle and for squares if you wanted to draw a perfect square. This next tip is really useful for if you wanted to do something like, for example, make your sprite go somewhere at some point. Well, then you can simply drag your sprite to the position that you want it to go to. And then when you drag in the go to block or the glide to block, well, then the coordinates of the sprite would already be put in here. Really cool. This next trick is really useful for if you want the sprite to detect collisions with other sprites, but you want it to be invisible. For this example, I am going to drag in a when green flag is clicked block and a forever block. Now forever, it is going to set the variable touching to whether if it's touching another sprite or not. So if touching the button one. I'm also going to make it go to the mouse pointer. If we hide the sprite, you can see that it would not detect any collisions when we touch the button. So to fix this, instead of just hiding the sprite, we're going to go to looks and we're going to set the ghost effect to 100. Now if we twist this, when you see that it is invisible, but if we touch the button, well then it detects that it's touching the button. The following might have happened to you before. Almost there. Ah, finished. Great. I'm just gonna go over and hide the sprite quickly. Now, if that has happened to you, well, no worries. That's where this tip comes in. You can simply go over to Edit and click Restore Sprite to bring back the sprite. This also works for costumes as well as applies to sounds. This next trick is really useful for many things. Pretty much is that if you have a number input, you can also put in a Boolean input. Now you might think, well, what is the value of this Boolean input? Well, if it's true, Boolean is going to output one. But if it's false, Wulan is going to output zero. It's definitely much better than having an if statement. Now here's something you might have not known. If you have, for example, a repeat block, well then, if you set it to run, for example, 10 times, it is going to run whatever's inside of here once every frame until it repeated it 10 times. Although, however, if you want it to repeat all of these 10 times in one single frame, you are or going to have to use turbo mode by shift clicking the green flag, or you can go over to my blocks, make a block, and then make it run without screen refresh. Now you can make that in the definition, and now this will repeat 10 times in a single frame. When things start getting messy, you can use this next tip to clean it up. Simply right click and click clean up blocks. Wow, this is so much more organized now. Another really useful thing to keep organized are comments. You can simply right click on a block or on an empty spot and click add a comment. This really helps for keeping things organized. For example, saying what this script does. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked my video, please drop a like. If you like my channel, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss any future content. If you have suggestions for future videos, post them in the comment section below. Have fun, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.